program with Miss Arissa from Malvern Family Resource Center. Let's start off by saying hello to each other. So we got one hand up. Let's take the other hand. Can you wave them back and forth together just like this? Back and forth, back and forth. Great job. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? Come on everybody and clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Come on everybody and clap your hands. How are you today? Vani, come everybody, move side to side, side to side, side to side. Vani, come everybody, move side to side. How are you today? Ni hao everybody, and tap your head, tap your head, tap your head. Ni hao everybody, and tap your head. How are you today? One more, ready? Kumusta everybody and roll your arms, roll your arms, roll your arms. Kumusta everybody and roll your arms. How are you today? Very nice. So welcome back to program with your teacher, Miss Arissa. Today we are learning all about the garden, right? Last week we learned about spring and we know spring is a season after winter and spring is when the birds come out, the bees come out, where the big round sun is shining more. Spring is the season where everything comes back to life and starts to grow like plants and vegetables in a garden. So. Let's start off with the first song. This song is called The Farmer Plants the Seed. Because it's a new song, we'll do it two times. The first time you can just watch and listen. And the second time I want you to follow Miss Arissa. Are you ready? Okay, so let's go through the action. So the first one is The Farmer Plants the Seed. So we need your palm out. Pinch your fingers together on your other hand. And we're gonna plant the seed, just like that. The farmer plants the seed. Very nice. And when the seed is planted, the rain comes and the rain begins to fall. Just like that. <laughs> awesome. And of course, when we want plants to grow, plants need sun. So the sun comes out. Very nice, make sure your arms are nice and round. So the rain falls, the sun comes out, and then the seed begins to sprout, just like this. Goes up, 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 and out of the ground. Very nice. And the last one, the flower smile. So can you show me a big, bright smile? Just imagine, Mr. Rice is taking a picture and I'm saying cheese, we have to say cheese. And show me your big bright smile. Very nice. All right, so let's put it all together. And don't forget, if you can't get it the first time, we are going to do it two times. So don't worry. All right, let's get ready. Get your palm out, pinch your fingers, and the farmer plants the seed. Ready? The farmer plants the seed. The farmer plants the seed. Hi ho, this I know. The farmer plants the seed. Then the rain begins to fall. The rain begins to fall. Hi ho, this I know. The rain begins to fall. Then the sun begins to shine. The sun begins to shine. Hi ho, this I 
know the sun begins to shine. Then what comes out of the ground? The seed or the sprout. The sprout begins to grow. The sprout begins to grow. Hi ho, this I know. The sprout begins to grow. Then the plant, it smiles at me. The plant, it smiles at me. Hi ho, this I know. The plant, it smiles at me. <laughs> Very nice. That was so great for your first try at this new song. Now, let's do it for the second time. Are you ready to join Miss Arissa? Awesome. So show me your palm. Get your seeds ready. And we're going to be farmers and we're going to plant the seeds. Ready? The farmer plants the seeds. The farmer plants the seeds. I hold this, I know, the farmer plants the seeds. Then the, what begins to fall? That's right, the rain. Then the rain begins to fall. The rain begins to fall. I hold this, I know, the rain begins to fall. And the sun begins to shine. The sun begins to shine. Hi ho, this I know. The sun begins to shine. So the rain and the sun help the seed grow. So the seed begins to sprout. That's right. The seed begins to sprout. The seed begins to sprout. Hi ho, this I know. The seed begins to sprout. And the plant, it smiles at me. The plant, it smiles at me. Let me see your big smile. <laughs> Hi ho, this I know. The plant, it smiles at me. <laughs> Very nice, my friends. So now that we've learned a little bit about a garden and how a garden is made out of seeds that are planted, then are watered and are given sunlight, they begin to grow. Let's look a little deeper into the garden with a story. And how do we get ready for our story? That's right. Take your 10 little fingers out and open, shut them, open, shut them. Do a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Today's story is called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt by Kate Messner. What do you see on the cover? Miss Arissa sees an animal. What animal is there? Up in the garden I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask? Hmm, what do you think is down in the dirt? Let's find out. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. What kind of insects do you see on the page? Miss Arissa sees a snail and a caterpillar. What about you?
These are bugs that are all in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustly armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly-poly rounds. Along with the roly-polies, Miss Arissa sees an animal. What animal can you find in the picture? Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings, and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Do you see the tomato hornworm? What color is it? Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, and wasps are on the prowl, and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. Bzzz. Can you help me count the carrots? How many yellow carrots do you see? Let's start from the left side. One, two, Three, four, and five. That's right. There's five carrot plants sprouting. I weed and wilt in sun so strong. Even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark. Do you see all the little earthworms in the dirt? Up in the garden, rain shower! Nana turns the hose on me! Eee! <laughs> Look at all the water going everywhere. But do you see something in the trees? What animal is in the tree? I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider silt walks over the streams. Look at the roots underneath the dirt. That's how plants Drink up water so they can grow big and tall. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. What vegetables and fruits do you like to eat? Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, and a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Oh, it's nighttime now in the garden, and look what animal comes out. Do you know what animal that is? That's right, it's a skunk. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. 
Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes up to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after a grasshopper, ready to swoosh, but... Snap! Someone else is fasted. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. <gasps> Poor grasshopper. Can you help me? What sound does a snake make? That's right. A snake goes Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Oh, it's fall now in the garden. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Look at all the sunflowers. Can you help me count them? Let's start from the left. Get your pointer finger out. And as I count, point to the sunflowers. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Keep pointing. What comes after five? That's right, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's after ten? Number eleven. Great counting. Down in the fall dirt, an orb weaver spider spins her web. Strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, color leaves litter the squash vines. And we know the cold is coming. What season does the cold come? Yeah, they're talking about winter coming. Hurry, hurry and harvest! There's enough for the neighbors, too. Meanwhile, down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for the colder days ahead. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the cold dirt, beetles burrow. Ants scurry home and earthworms curl tight in the dark. When Grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Can you find the moon? It's a big white circle. Can you find the white circle? Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter. But the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts. Under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. The end. learn another song is very similar to the first one but this one will help us remember what happens in spring so as you know in spring the sun begins to shine make a big round sun again right and the sun gives us heat and keeps us warm very good in the spring it also rains a lot and the rain begins to fall, right? And we love the sound of the rain. And next, of course, 
with the rain and the sun, the plants begin to bloom. See, you already know these actions from the first song. Plants begin to bloom, and we love the sight of that. Perfect. So let's put all those actions together, and don't worry, if you don't know them the first time, we will do the song two times. Get ready. This is called the spring song. The sun begins to shine. The sun begins to shine. Oh, how I love the warmth. The sun begins to shine. And the rain begins to fall. The rain begins to fall. Oh, how I love the sound. The rain begins to fall. Then the plants begin to bloom. The plants begin to bloom. Oh, how I love the sight. The plants begin to bloom. Great job following along, my friends. Let's do it for the second time. And remember, let we start off with a big round sun for this song. Show me your big round sun. Great job. The sun begins to shine. The sun begins to shine. Oh, how I love the warmth. The sun begins to shine. And the rain begins to fall. The rain begins to fall. Oh, how I love the sound. The rain begins to fall. Then the plants begin to bloom. The plants begin to bloom. Oh, how I love the sight. The plants begin to bloom. All right, my friends, so we have been sitting down for a while. So let's stand up. Let's move our bodies with some yoga and some of our fun action songs. Are you ready? Everybody stand up, stand up, stand up. Everybody stand up and let's move. Come on. All right, my friends, let's first start off by warming up our upper body with one of our favorite songs, Slippery Fish. Can you make a slippery fish? <laughs> Wiggling in the water, octopus, 
All right, let's end off program with yoga. First pose is a tree pose. Make sure you're stretching your arms nice and tall like a tree. And trees also stand very strong. So if you can, lift one leg up and stand on one leg. If not, you can stand firmly with both feet on the floor, just like this. Great job, everyone. Now let's do our next pose. We need to bend our knees and bend our legs. Let's squat and do a frog pose, just like so. Ribbit, ribbit. If you have a hard time balancing, you can lift your hands in front of you, then press them onto the floor, and this will help you stay still. Now let's hold it for three more seconds. One, two, three. Great job! As we learned, gardens begin from seeds. So let's do a seed pose. For this one, you'll have to bend down on all fours and tuck your tummy and your head in in a child's pose, just like so. Now let's hold this pose for 10 seconds, my friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Come up slowly. You don't need to stand, but we're gonna sit on our bottoms and become a flower. For this pose, you want to try and lift one leg onto your other leg. If that's hard, you can cross your legs and then fold your arms out like they're long and big flower petals, just like so. For our next pose, stay sitting, but this time you want the soles of your feet to be touching just like I pointed. We are going to do a butterfly pose. So pretend your legs are the butterfly's wings. You want them to stretch as your feet are touching and we're gonna hold this stretch for five seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Great job, everyone. All right. Come back to your seats. It's time to say goodbye. All right, my friends, I hope you had a great program today with Miss Arissa. Thank you for joining me and learning about the garden during springtime. I mean, we even saw the garden through fall and winter and summer. But for now, Miss Arissa does have to say goodbye. Can you help me in singing our goodbye song? Let's start by clapping our hands. We had a happy day. We had a happy day. I oh this I know. We had a happy day. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.